And welcome back to my channel. I'm here with the Money Shack again. We're here talking nothing but that almighty dollar once again. So go ahead and reintroduce yourselves in case they missed the first two videos, which those videos are in the bio below. Yes, sir. Make but, sure you guys check those out. Big facts. Yeah, um, but yeah, Shaq Hall here. You guys can follow me on IG, Shaq Hall underscore. And today we're talking big money, big business, and we're gonna be talking housing. A lot of people come to me with questions all the time. And like I make sure I tell you guys all the time, I am not an expert. I'm learning every day. And this is one of the people that I learned from a lot along the way as well. He helped me out along the way big time when it came to getting my own house. I wasn't even thinking along the lines of real estate until I met you. And he told me like, yo, I have a place. And this is what it, the benefits I'm reaping from it. I was just unknowledgeable about the real estate market a lot until you kind of divulge a lot of the, the perks and the benefits to it mm -hmm. because you kind of sleep on it a lot of times. Yeah, most people, most people don't even look at the aspect of, uh, you know, making money through real estate, but mm -hmm. the real wealth is, is created through real estate, to be honest with you. Real estate, land, whatever the case may be, whatever you want to call it, mm -hmm. is created through ownership of real estate. You're involved in it whether you like it or not. It's either you're renting or you own a house, right? You gotta have somewhere to sleep, it's yeah. a necessity. So yeah, man, you know, quick background for me is just like, I got involved with real estate at a good age, a very young age, while I was in university. And um, I had a couple of sources of income while I was in school, so I was able to save enough money substantially in order to put a down payment on a house. Like you said, multiple sources of income. Like we sure. talked about in the last video, which you guys should go check out. Different sources of income lead to success. As a first time home buyer, you're able to put 5% as a as a down payment. If you don't know, the government makes it easy for people who don't have real estate to buy real estate. Um, and take advantage of that. A lot of people, I tell people certain things and they're like, well, like I didn't even know that that was available to me. Definitely, 100%, you know, it's like what your pop says, what you don't know, you don't know. <laughs> Shout out to Who's Fly Senior real quick. Yeah. I, I see this little hoodie you got glimmering in the light room right, yeah. right now. Nice I want club. you to touch on that really quickly. Go ahead and, and, and tell us a little bit about what that is because yeah, yeah. I think it's super dope what you're doing right now. For sure. Essentially, I created my own, uh, you know, investment real estate firm where, you know, we help people get involved in real estate and you know pulling together resources together to own more real estate getting started i never had all the help in the world i never had all the resources the brokers the accountants i had to do everything my, myself i created a, a platform where you know we look for undervalued properties we invest in there and we we, we uh, do different strategies in order to make money on top of our money um the name of the game is cash flow so you know we're renting or flipping or even um you know buying and holding and getting um you know uh, multiple sources of income through it, through rental income and appreciation. So as you were saying, your business that you launched right now is basically a platform that pulls together all the resources you need to get your purchasing, your house purchase done, right? Yeah. And if you guys have been following my page, one of my first videos that I made after purchasing my first house was things to remember when purchasing your house. And a lot of everything that you listed mm -hmm. is everything I had a problem with along the way of purchasing my first house. There was so much stuff that had to be done in the background and it was a headache in itself where I was just like, yo, there needs to be something where all of this can be done under one umbrella. And I think yep. essentially that's what your business is. So one thing that I need to, I need you to elaborate on as well, I, I got my house as a pre-construction. So that was a house that was not built yet, it was just blueprints, and I had to see something on paper, I'm like, you know what, that's gonna look good, I saw the pictures, I'm gonna put my money towards that. I want you to kinda explain to people that pre-construction is not is one of many ways 100%. to getting your first property. Yeah. Go ahead and let people know exactly what are the different types and, and some things that you don't even know. So I'm gonna just go back and, and talk about pre-construction as well too. Mm -hmm. Pre-construction is a great way to get your first real estate transaction done. Um, the reason being for investor or first time home buyer is you only have to put a small portion portion down, so like maybe 5,000, whatever the case, depending on the builder, um, a certain percentage down, and then they, they spread all the payments. So you don't have to have that full 20% or whatever the case may be to buy your first property, or the 5% and the full 5%, they will break that down for you. So you, you, you have to put, yeah, they make it a lot easier. You have to put 5,000 down, and then, you know, you may have to put, you know, 5% in 30 days, another 5% in 180, mm -hmm. another 5% in you know 360, or some builders will do, you know, put maybe a thousand dollar deposit and just pay us a thousand dollars every month until a certain period of time until the, the actual construction is built. For context, I did exactly that. So my pay structure was I put 5,000 down on the day of signing, which is when I, I decided on which unit it is that I wanted to commit to. And then I had to pay another amount um, 30 days later and another amount down 90 days later. And that together, pulled together, made my 7% uh, down payment. So it, it gives me extra flexibility to not be, one, strapped for cash mm -hmm. once I put down my down payment, mm -hmm. and also 
I had I can put down a plan exactly. and, and account for it. I'm not left dead broke. Exactly. And, and it gives me more flexibility going forward because after I put down that totality of the seven percent. It was just waiting game until the house was done and I had to, my mortgage kicked in. But go ahead and touch on some maybe the yeah. other the other types as well. The other one is you know you can buy a house that is um, you know a, a little bit older. Um, you can buy an older property already existing, and, right? already existing, and then um, you know you would have to find five percent or twenty percent. But you have to have that money up front. Right? That's the thing. Right? Most people don't have it. Right? Um, and then another one after that, I would say is you know rent to own. Mm -hmm. Can you um, touch on that one? Because even me, I'm I'm struggling <laughs> to to understand exactly what a rent to own situation entails because I'm curious because yeah. honestly your people who are going to be watching this are going to be like okay Shaq this all sounds good but you know I can't get into real estate because my credit is messed up one I don't have all the money in, in the world to, to get a property right so rental one is a great program and a great system for people who don't have the money or have a bad credit score or from past mistakes to help them get involved into real estate and actually get into ownership in a span of a couple of years Right, so it gives them that time to build the credit. So essentially, how it works is, let's say you want to get a property, but you know your credit's messed up, um, and you don't have you know 20% or 10%. Right, so um, what you would need a certain percentage down, so maybe 5% or you know 3%. We'll come to an agreement of what you can put down. So it's, it's me and you working out these numbers, exactly. right? Exactly. Okay. You can work with hard real estate, and then we can find you a property. We go together, look for a property that you're looking for. Mm -hmm. Whatever the purchase price is, you would have to put a percentage down, okay. and then you're paying rent every month up until a certain period of time. Okay. Or you have the option to actually buy the house. Okay. All right. That's all it is. Essentially, that's what it is. You have the option to buy the house at the end of the term. Right? So, what are the perks of that process for the person 100%. that's handing this house over? The perks is for me, I, I get that percentage down up front. So, when we're actually purchasing purch the house, I'm not putting my entire 20%. Mm -hmm. My portion is coming from you. So, if I'm putting down three, you're putting down 17. So, it eases it up on me at exactly how much is expected of me to put down. Down payment, exactly. Right. And then, okay. part of your, your rent every single month. Um, not only goes to the mortgage, but mm -hmm. it'll go towards um, you know the principal payment of the actual house as well too. Okay. So at the end of the two years or the three year term, it's gonna be cheaper on you because you put money, you've been paying rent for these past two years and, it, and it's not like it's not going anywhere, it's going towards the purchase of your house. Okay. Right? Yeah. And for me now, the benefit is, is like, you're taking care of the house like it's your own because yeah. you have intention to own it. And exactly. as well as that, you have that time period to get your, your stuff in order, right? Maybe get a better job and get more income coming mm -hmm. in and then help, you know, maybe watch your first video on saving and save a little bit more money so yeah. you can, you know, put yeah. down more money into the house that mm -hmm. way your mortgage is less. And a lot of people don't realize the benefit to ownership versus simply just renting is when you pay that $2,000 every month as rent to your landlord, it's a, it's a wasted money out of your pocket. You're not, you're never seeing the benefit of that $2,000 ever again. But if you're paying it in a rent to own situation, that 2000 is going towards something going forward that's going to benefit me still at the end of the day. Exactly. Because at the end of the day, I'm going to be taking ownership of that house or that property at the end of this term that we've come to the agreement of. So I know for me, like I refuse to move out of my mom's house if I wasn't going to be owning wherever I was living because I was completely dead set on never having to pay somebody else's mortgage because that $2,000 went to nothing. Like I just, I paid that other person's mortgage and there's no benefit for it to me going forward other than me living in that house in the past because mm -hmm. I'm paying for the 30 days that just passed, not anything going forward. I think that rent to own situation is definitely something that's mutually beneficial because the you as the investor now, you get all the perks of it going forward. You got the profit along the way every month. Exactly. You got to build your credit for that yeah. time frame as well because you had that mortgage to your name mm -hmm. you had on time payments because you know that tenant is not going to flop on you for your monthly payments because you may lose the option to buy the house mm -hmm. the last thing you want to do on a two-year term for this agreement is on the 22nd month you can't make your commitment and you end up losing everything you're working towards for 24 months yeah like and so easy for the owner to be like all right well i mean <laughs> i'm gonna sell it regardless yeah, exactly <laughs> you know you know that's I mean? why it's good to have that conversation at the beginning understand exactly what you're getting yourself into mm -hmm. and literally have a goal right like, like you can't go anywhere in life if you don't have a goal or a vision or a plan to get to where you want to get to. So at the end of the day, we create that system in place. Mm -hmm. So, you know, if you want to get into rent to own, obviously I would be a part of the rent to own agreement. So if, if, so, you're, if I'm watching this video right now, I'm like, you know what? I would like to put some money down where I can be the owner in a rent to own yeah. situation. As well as if I'm watching this video and I'm looking at, I'm like, you know, like I would like to be a renter because my credit is kind of bad or I don't have the money right now where I would like to rent to own. Both sides can message you and you can set that up because yeah. you're going to be that that middleman or that brokerage yeah. in the middle to kind of be like, okay, you know, I have these two people that, yeah. that bring these two together yeah. to get this job done. Part of my resources is I have, you know, everything. So you can call me the ultimate middleman in a sense. You just go to hall. 
realestateinc.ca. The goal is to get everybody to ownership. Yeah, no, day, facts. I can't. You know what I mean? So, like, I can't stress it enough. Now I have ownership. Now I'm getting offers from different institutions that I would have never seen before because they see, like, okay, you know what? He owns a house. Yeah. He's got a mortgage. He's spent, like, you know what I mean? Responsible. <laughs> It has a nice way, it rings off the tongue, so yeah. responsible. <laughs> and that's what it's about, it's a snowball effect. Like, mm -hmm. I love the fact that, you know, you got your first property, you're already thinking about your next one. Facts. It's just a snowball effect. Yeah. You know, once you own property, you would understand, mm -hmm. um, but it changed your idea of money. So before we, we, we leave off on this video, go ahead. What, 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 give me one thing to take away from this video that you would like, if they blanked out for 10 minutes of this video, what is one thing you want people to take away from this video? Okay, so I'll give you a quote on real estate that I love seeing. It's like, don't wait, wait to buy real estate. Buy real estate and wait. You'll see the end result. Yo. You like that one? I like, <laughs> I like that one. My business, again, I'm all about changing the culture. I'm all about working together to achieve greatness, to achieve ownership, to achieve wealth. Visit howrealestateinc.ca and let's work together, figure out a way to get you the ownership and let's figure out a way to make you more money and create that generational wealth. All right, so that does it for this episode. Hopefully you learned something about the different types of properties, the different types of avenues to ownership to own property and if there is any more questions you got his information in the bio you got me you can ask as well make sure you stay tuned we got more coming i'm gonna make sure <laughs> that money shack is back on this couch dropping some more gems and make sure you subscribe make sure you like make sure you leave comments below and uh let's get this money together man 2020 we're gonna make it happen let's get it all right i need one of these hoodies by the way bro. yeah i got you bro. i need one of those i need one of those